if you want to learn how to fly. All right then, well just be careful, all right? One, two, three. Oh, Lionel! Oh, no, 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 you're all right. You're okay. Um, okay, all right, okay. A little blast and it'll be fine, won't it, everyone? That's fine. Yes, and you have a, you have a lie down. Oh, well, oh, after that excitement, tonight's book is called Up and Down. It's by Oliver Jeffers. Let's have a read, shall we? Once there were two friends. And they always did everything together. Until one day, the penguin decided there was something important he wanted to do all by himself. Fly. He did own wings after all. And even if they didn't work very well, Although that didn't stop the penguin from trying. And trying, but nothing worked. And it wasn't long before he ran out of ideas. The boy even offered him a go in his plane, but the engine hadn't recovered from his last fight. And besides, it wasn't the same. The penguin wanted to do this by himself. After doing a bit of homework, it seemed as though the odds were against them. So together, the boy and the penguin decided it was time to ask for help. When something caught the penguin's eye, and he knew this was his chance. <gasps> A living cannibal coming. In his excitement, he rushed off without even a word. The boy did not know where he had gone. The boy looked everywhere, and even though he'd found his friend for a second, or thought he had, although none of these other penguins knew how to play his favourite game. Meanwhile, the penguin had found the right place and was hired on the spot to be a cannonball. Soon, he'd get to fly. But suddenly he realised he didn't know where his friend was, or how to get home. Later that night, the penguin couldn't help but miss his friend. Likewise, the boy could barely sleep for worrying about his friend. The next day, the boy tried to think of all the places the penguin would go. When something caught his eye, he didn't have much time. The penguin's big moment had come, but somehow he wasn't so sure about flying anymore. He wished the boy were there, and even wondered if his friend had noticed he'd gone. But it was too late for thoughts like that. He took off like a bullet. The boy rushed in, hoping he could still catch his friend. The penguin couldn't believe how high and how fast he was flying, and he had no idea how he was going to land. He was terrified and wished his friend was there to help him. Oh, what's he got? A net, a trampoline, a pillow, his hands. <gasps> Down he comes. The boy was there to catch him. The friends agreed that there was a reason why his wings didn't work very well. Because penguins don't like flying. So together, the two friends made a break for home to play their favourite game. The end.
Well, I hope you liked that one. Have you ever wanted to try something new on your own that maybe needed help? I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a great night's sleep. Night-night. <laughs>